What's going on everybody? It's your buddy Rob Banks of the Red Cup Review and as you can see in the foreground of what I have in my hand here, we're looking at the Freddy Krueger figure from Mezco in the 112 Collective. This figure is pretty darn awesome. The underlying body is probably the best body they've ever done and this is what they should have used for the Joker figure and it's a damn shame. He's got double elbows, swivels at the thighs. However, when Mezco gives us one thing, they kind of... It not really give us everything we want because the rocker ankles are basically non-existent. My figure, the ankles don't rock practically at all. He does come with four different head sculpts though. A very expressive figure, it captures all the likeness of Freddy. The, the weathering on the body is done pretty well, we'll take a closer look at that. Looks like he's been hanging out in the boiler room and stuff. It's a nice figure overall. Please stay tuned to the end of the video, or you guys could just fast forward to that because I do a little bit of pictures and, and give you guys an idea of how he's going to look on your shelf and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty damn cool. Again, please like, subscribe, maybe share this video with your friends, and let me know what you think of this Freddy figure in the comments below if you have them. If not, let us know what your favorite Nightmare on Elm Street movie is. Mine happens to be the first Nightmare on Elm Street because I think it's the scariest, followed by the Dream Warriors. That's what I'm sticking with. And that's what I'm writing to you guys. Anyways, enough. Let's get on with the review. Alright, first things first, we're going to take a look at the four different heads Freddy comes with. Here's the gritty, you know, angry Freddy coming for you. The paint job on this is pretty awesome. What's cool about Freddy is that they could get away with being a little bit sloppier with the paint because it's supposed to look burnt and messed up and scarred. However, they still manage to capture the, um, the burn marks around the eyes, especially and the pits in the face pretty good without having little to almost no bleeding. I don't know how the hell they do this. You get it that close when you pull the head off, the hat off rather, it even has it on the top of the head, right? So the detailing is all there. Behind door number two, you get the smiling head sculpt with Freddy Krueger, and I actually, this is my favorite one because it, I think it captures the essence of Freddy's character the best. He was always smiling and playing jokes on the kids and all that before slashing them to bits. The paint is pretty consistent here. It's nice. The sculpt is obviously different. The cheekbones are raised. Works pretty well. Here's Stoic Freddy, right? He's got his scowl on. Like, ugh, those mangy kids got away again, right? Old Man River is over here. Looks pretty good. And behind door number four, you got this face right here. This version of the head. And I say face because you can get your thumb in there and pull face off yeah you go and look at that a face only a mother could love right it's pretty scary um if you're gonna get in two of these figures i guess you could have them like this with this head on and then a version of just you know the standard old freddy right pull the yeah that's pretty darn scary looking man i don't know i don't remember this from the first movie i'm sure you horror buffs do and it's pretty gross the paint inside the mouth is very nasty it's got like that almost darkish reddish black thing going on um, when it when the light hits it properly, which just adds to the gore and the flavor. Now for a little bit of height comparison, Freddy is really five nine and a half. Jason's supposed to be six foot five. I'm unsure how tall Ash Williams is. However, this is where Mezco maybe should have maybe tightened up the ball joints and maybe the ankles or shortened things up a little bit. I guess really they can't, considering you know most of the time. These things are made from, you know, plastic molds and only slight improvements can be made here or there. He does look great. All the horror characters do look great together. But you really, if you're looking for super height accuracy, you're not getting it here. Even with the hat off, because the hat adds a little bit of height to him, Freddy is still not at 5'9 compared to 6'5". It's just not happening there. And as you can see, both Ash, appropriately both Ash, in my opinion, and Jason are taller, just not by a significant amount. All right, now we're taking a look at the outfit and the articulation, right? The good, the bad, and the ugly. The ugly, his face. The good, he's got double-jointed elbows, and as I said in the intro, this is the best underlying body for a skinny character that I have ever seen Mezco do. You can get his arms to cross basically all across. Look at that. You can even touch his own shoulder because of the articulation is excellent. I'm just messing with him. Look, I'm not even really trying, and you can get him into some crazy, you know... Look, without even trying. Crazy pose, right? He's got the double knees, and what's cool about the knees and the outfit is that he actually has the scuff marks on the knees itself, which is cool. It's appropriate. It works very nicely, so his knees go all the way down. You can have him kneeling down. Not that you would want to do that unless he was, like, begging for mercy from Jason or something, right? This is my favorite part. He goes all the way back because he has an articulation point underneath his chest here and in the waist. So he goes all the way back. He goes all the way forward, and he twists excellently. 
there's really not much I could say bad about. Look, it even does an awesome split. The articulation on this body is awesome. But the ankles are non-existent. My figure has zero ankle pivot there and very, very slightly ankle pivot here. So that is a nit. That is a bad. Um, there's a lot of good to be said about this body. The weathering is appropriate. The weathering on his shirt is very well done. It's look like It looks like he's been hanging out in the boiler room right it's not uniform so it's kind of a little bit all over he's got a lot of junk going on up over there and dust and soot up in the shoulder area which is cool take a look at his glove here's a warning the glove has good weathering on it the the brown parts of the here's a bad okay the brown parts of the hat and the glove should have been a little bit darker or i don't know the paint job is a little too shiny for me for my taste the hat the coloring is right but the hat and the glove should have been a little bit more matte colored right however be careful here's a knit uh taking off his hand the hands are very this hand especially is a pain in the ass to take off when you pull it off be careful not to break these these are solid this is this hand is not like rubbery like malleable kind of like this one look look at the fingers on this one see how they kind of move a little bit not on this thing so that's a little bit of a, an issue so be careful when removing that hand and other than that he's pretty darn great can't really say too much bad about him. Look, the head goes all the way around, right? Good stuff. Accessory time. Most boring part of any review, right? There you go. You got the hat. Again, like I showed you earlier, a little bit of scuff on it. However, it needed a little bit of a more duller. You see how the light just shines on it? That, to me, that's a no-no. Although it does fit his head pretty well. This, to me, is ridiculous and silly. It comes with a trash can cover. That makes no sense to me at all. I think it's kind of stupid. They should have added maybe... I don't know what the hell they could have added. Maybe, like, longer arms or something, like, you know, instead of maybe four head sculpts, add, like, two, like, really long arms from the scene where he, like, stretches his arms across, you know, and, like, goes down the alleyway to go get the girl. So this, to me, is silly, even though the paintwork is pretty good on it. He comes with this alternate claw hand, which is, like, his pointing hand or his hush hand. The paint on it is is very well done. Again, be really careful with these. These are going to snap. I'm telling you right now, someone's going to snap those. I almost snapped mine. One thing that Mezco does really well with their horror figures is their bases. Most of the time, the bases, I think, suck. However, the base here is actually quite appropriate and perfect. It's the cover to the VHS, Nightmare on Elm Street, and I like it. It's spooky. It has the title there, and it screams appropriateness for the figure. He also comes with this alternate hand. Like when he cuts his hand off in the movie, he starts cutting his fingers off, and he starts spurting that green you know, blood out, which is pretty nasty. <coughs> excuse me and the paintwork on that is also very well done so that was a nice cute little accessory he's got the open hand with well, a relaxed hand the open hand i have on the figure and a fist right and that's what you're getting as far as accessories go thanks everybody for tuning in to this episode of the red cup review and if you haven't joined the red cup family please consider subscribing dropping us a like give us a comment let me know what you guys think of this figure what you thought of the video and what you think of freddy krueger overall this figure is not an essential must-have however if you are a horror buff then yes i must say he is a must-have he's got a couple of nits if it wasn't for that damn paint job on the hat and the non-existent rocker ankles this figure would have been borderline perfect he does have that awesome underlying body though the body is so damn good it's going to make you hate all of your other thin thin sculpted thin body framed Mezco figures because especially the Joker because this is the body and the underlying body to have they need to use this going forward we are giving him four cups from the red cup review because if it wasn't for those few nits like I said before he would have been perfect he's got the perfect amount of soot and battle damage on his body grit and grime and all that good stuff again thanks everybody for tuning in we hope you guys enjoyed this video we damn sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys again this is an over 13 and over channel so if you're a kid get the hell out of here should have said that in the beginning anyways hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you guys soon on the next episode take care